Howdy folks, and welcome back to World of Tanks with the Mighty Jingles. A uh, quick one for you today. Uh, quite a busy day ahead of me. I have to go out and do the weekly shop. And I'm live streaming with Rita Gamer tonight. I'm not sure what we're going to be playing. Probably World of Tanks. Probably World of Warships. Uh, link in the video description to uh, Rita's Twitch channel. But um, can't let you go a day without a video. So here is a game from Squirtle in the Bat Chat 25T. The infamous Bat de la Chat. It's quite a close game. XPM rates his team's chances of winning at 54%, so it, it could go either way. His ammunition loadout is four clips of armor-piercing composite rigid, which is standard ammunition on tier 10 medium tanks. You'd be surprised how many people uh, <laughs> want to put a tier 10 medium tank replay up. You'd be surprised how many people go, oh, dirty gold spammer. <laughs> no, no, guys. Tier 10 medium tanks fire APCR as their standard ammunition. He does have two clips of the premium ammunition on this tank, which is high explosive of any tank, but that's only 30 shots in total. The Bat Chat does not have a large ammunition capacity. In fact, I've seen and I've shown games where guys have been in the Bat Chat and they've just run out of ammunition. They, they were physically incapable of killing all of the tanks that were left. And they lost directly as a result of the low ammunition capacity of this tank. Now, the trick to driving the Bat Chat successfully, and this goes for all of the French autoloaders, is you've got to look after your health in the first half of the match. You don't want to be taking unnecessary damage. And the reason for that is because the Bat Chat, like the other French autoloaders, becomes more and more dangerous the longer the game goes on. The five shots from that 105mm autoloading magazine have a damage potential, assuming they all hit, penetrate and damage the target, of 1,950, just short of 2,000 damage. That means you cannot kill a full health tier 10 heavy tank. A full clip from the bat chat will also not kill a full health tier 10 tank destroyer, or most of them. And a full clip from the bat chat will only kill another tier 10 medium tank if every shot you fire hits, penetrates and does average damage. And we all know how often that happens. And while you're doing that, they're returning fire at you because they're on full health. They have time to turn the turret around and shoot you back. So the trick with driving the bat chat successfully is in the first few minutes of the match, do what damage you can. It's important that you do do what damage you can, but do it without taking damage in return. Husband your health, because you're going to need it in the later stages of the game. Because in the later stages of the game, all those tier 10 enemy tanks, they're not on full health anymore. And so, suddenly you're in a position where you can take them out with two, three shots, rather than having to sit there blazing away with all five, and that gives them less chance to return fire at you and do damage to you. And that is why the Bat Chat is such a lethal killer, a smiling assassin in the latter stages of a game of World of Tanks. If I'm in an E100 on full health, and I get jumped by a Bat Chat, I'll probably take damage from his first shot, assuming he's stopped and aimed and he's not firing on the move. But then I've got time to angle my armour, fall back into cover, fire back at him, do 750 damage to him with that big 150mm gun, bounce his return shots because I've had time to angle my armour. On the other hand, if I'm on 700 health in an E100 and I get jumped by a Bat Chat, I'm in serious trouble. He does 390 damage to me with his first shot, and then while I'm looking around to see where the first shot came from, the second shot has already killed me. So, bat chat drivers. Take a page out of Squirtle's book here. We've all seen those replays, and I've been guilty of putting them up as well, where the bat chat charges right across the map in the first minute of the game. Dodges every enemy shot as if he's Neo from the Matrix, and... <laughs> immediately runs riot in the enemy artillery park and then zooms away singing La Marseillaise um, without having taken a single point of damage and they make for fantastic replays but that doesn't happen very often <laughs> that's the exception rather than the rule for that sort of thing to work you need to get lucky and if you're relying on luck well you're not going to win many games of World of Tanks there was nothing lucky about this attack on the leopard prototype this guy was dead the second Squirtle decided to go for him that was a fairly good trade Almost full health Leopard Prototype, and it cost him 210 health. The Leopard Prototype was never going to get more than one return shot off against him. He came around behind him. He'd put two and was ready to fire the third shot into him before the guy could even get his turret turned around. 
Also take into account the Leopard prototype is basically made out of Amorax and every shot that hits it knocks its Amorax out. So one shot was all that guy was going to get. And that is the trick to driving the batch out. Looking after your health from the start of the match does not mean sitting at the back of the map and doing nothing. Well, four minutes into this game he's already done 3,000 damage and he's only taken 210 damage in returns because he's keeping his eyes open. He's keeping his tank safe, but when he spots an opportunity to kill without taking much damage in return, he takes it. And that's how you have to play the bat chat. So, 3,000 damage, one kill. Been spotted by a T-34 on the crest of the hill over there. Now he's reloaded, but the T-34 is going to be looking for him. So instead of popping up again in the obvious location, he keeps moving. He's looking for a better sniping spot. And there's the T-34. And here we go. His first shot blows his tracks off. T-34's turret's turning around. And what do we say to T-34s who are pre-aiming on the corner that we're hiding behind? <laughs> Not today, T-34. Not today. Oh, he didn't get the kill. Never mind. It's an enemy tank dead. And it cost him nothing to do it. Ideally, of course, that's how you should be driving every tank, trying to do as much damage as possible without taking any damage in return, because if you can do that every game that you play, you'll win every game that you play. Not as easy to do it if you're not an auto loader, of course. I mean, it's not easy to do it in an auto loader. You've got to have an eye on the flow of the battle, be looking for opportunities, like, for example, the FV4202, who's busy kicking that T95 to death. Now, he can't help him immediately because he's still reloading, and he's on the other side of the field. But if the T95 can just hang on, well, it doesn't look like he can. He's getting handled very roughly and violently from behind without the help of any lube. But he's here now, and oh look, he can kill this guy with one click. And at best, the 4202 is going to get one return shot into him. And in fact, that's pretty much exactly what happened. And there you go. So, another successful health trade. He did 1950 damage to that 4202, which coincidentally is the exact average damage number <laughs> that you can expect to do uh, with five shells from this 105mm gun. And it only cost him 442 damage in return. That's the important part. It's picking the moments and the opportunities so that you can make those kind of trades. And uh, Squirtle's such a gentleman. He even apologises to the T95 that he wasn't quick enough to save him. Now, of course, this is ammunition crunch time. He's only got one round of APCR left, and that's no good to him. You cannot mix and match your ammunition loads. This is the price that you pay for packing premium ammunition along with your standard ammunition in the bat chat. You'll often find yourself in positions where you've got one or two shots left in the magazine, but you've killed whatever it was you were attacking, and you have to get out of there and reload. And this means that you're going to end up with odd rounds of ammunition left over. He's now had to load his premium high explosive anti-tank, which means he's got two clips of heat ammunition and then he's got one APCR round left over. And it takes just as long to reload one round of APCR into the magazine as it would to load all five. So be careful if you do choose to mix and match your ammunition load in your bat chat, because it can bite you in the arse. Two shots into the Waffentrager, the Waffentrager starts turning his gun around, which is going to give the T-54 the opportunity to get around him while he pulls back and finishes. Wow, he actually just bounced a shot from the Waffentrager. <laughs> oh well. Um, it's probably fair to say that Squirtle had a little bit of luck in this game as well. But now he's, he's done what he can to help out that T-54 and he's out of ammunition. The T-54 is burning. Oh, how close was that? The Waffentrager's out of ammunition now. Go on, T-54, get your revenge, get him. Come on, shoot him. <laughs> Yay, there we go. You know, I'm not quite sure if that was the luckiest or the unluckiest T-54 I've ever seen. I mean, Squirtle did everything he possibly could to distract and damage that Waffentrager E100 to give the T-54 the opportunity to get around his flank. Unfortunately, <laughs> well, you saw what happened. Um, but eh, the T-54 survived and he got the kill, so it's all good. Now Squirtle has his last five rounds of premium ammunition and, well, it's only going to take one shot. And the 1375 was probably reloading after killing the artillery, but he didn't get the chance to put a shot into him anyway. So Squirtle is down to five rounds of ammunition, four premium high explosive anti-tank, and then a full reload 
to load one round of APCR, but doesn't really matter. <laughs> there's, only, there's only one artillery left on the enemy team. So, uh, yeah. I think it's fairly safe to say that we've won this one. And due in no small part to Squirtle's efforts here, he's done 8,000 damage. And he's only been hit twice in return. And he didn't do it by camping at the back of the map. And he also didn't do it by charging right across the middle of the map, right in the first minute of the game. As you see people doing on some of the more spectacular YouTube bat chat videos. And it does make for a fantastic video when it happens. But you can usually only pull that sort of thing off. One time in a hundred. Oh, and there's the artillery. And I'm sure it's just a coincidence that he's heading for the only spot of open water on the entire map. <laughs> And there we go, game over. Over 8,000 damage done. And Squirtle, you didn't even get a Top Gun. Oh, you scrub. <laughs> so that was Squirtle with his Ace Tanker showing us how to bat chat, doing over 8,000 damage and getting five kills. Not bad at all. Hope you enjoyed the video, folks. And uh, a reminder, I will be live streaming probably World of Tanks and World of Warships tonight with Rita Gamer. Link to her Twitch channel in the video description. Hope to see you there. As always, folks, take care, and I'll catch you next time.